My name is Kate Chesner. I am originally from Florida, from Fort Lauderdale, and, um, but now I live in Asheville for about 12 years. I work um, with mixed media. I work with paper and fabric um, and create collages. And I teach in Asheville, um, so when I was looking for uh, graduate school, I was looking for something in close proximity. I went to um, undergrad at Florida State University and I studied um, studio art and then I graduated with art history and I had traveled studying art and just always very interested in art and then started a family and kind of after my kids were a little bit older I decided that it was time for me to go back and get back into my own art. I think I've always been interested in collage. Collage has always been a really accessible form of art for me and traveling and living in places where I couldn't create large pieces. I was always able to cut up magazines and my own drawings and things that I was able to do no matter where I was. So then coming here and working in the studio and then I did a class out at Penland um, paper making and learning about uh, paper sculptures, getting more in depth with different kinds of paper and material really brought me to the point where I am today. I do remember being little and making my own books and cutting out pictures and like creating books and then my mom would help me write the stories for them. I love the narrative that's created with the collage. I teach currently uh, middle school students and we did a mixed media class and we talked a lot about just like the juxtaposition that comes with collage where it's like you're creating this like weird scene and then you can add any image or any figure into it and it makes a whole new story just by cutting and pasting two different images together. The main thing that I'm excited about when I'm teaching is that they're at an age where they can really start to get down on themselves and like be like, I'm not a good artist or I don't like my art. And it's like trying to just focus on making the work and not the product of the work. And I feel like that's harder as you get older. <laughs> the pieces, some of the pieces that are over here are going to go down into the museum and the, the big overarching thought is memory. My written thesis will be about memory. And about memory, like mishaps, like pieces that you forget or like traces of human history that are kind of lost um, within memory because memory is, you know, just parts that you remember and other people might have a completely different idea of what that was. And then thinking about like ghosts in a way, ghosts as a memory, so like things that are coming and going and kind of always being revisited. I have some pieces that are all home photos that I've created um, image transfers onto panels and then I have some that are collage pieces that I'm putting onto canvas. A piece that I'm excited about um, for the show is um, a piece that is eight separate panels um, with an opening in the middle and on the panels are transfers of home photos um, and I just chose one album from when I was a child we lived in Japan. And so I have photo albums from that and I just picked one and like went with all of the photos to kind of represent a memory that I remember very specifically some of those um, uh, images and like the time that we spent there but then some I have no idea what they are or who the people are but of course they're part of my childhood because I'm in the photos. Um, but thinking a lot about memory of my other work I hadn't really included many of my own um, childhood photos so this one I was challenging myself to just use my own photos. and. Um, and I just like the feeling, it, you know, it feels very nostalgic, of course, because it's my home photos, but then anyone that I've showed it to also has that feeling. Anytime you look at anyone's home photos, it feels like you can kind of remember being a child or being in a similar situation, which, yeah, is the feeling I was going for. The process has been great. It's been a strange, and I don't know anything different, but it feels like it's been a strange three years of my MFA because I started fall 2019, so I had one semester and then pandemic um, and having the studio has been great but also I have two small children so I would be teaching them at home it was hard to get out here as much as I wanted to so the process um, when I think about it has been a lot of like trying to find the separation from home and my other life and then kind of just accepting that they're both one and the same and having to work through that my kids inspire everything that I do I think <laughs> being home with them a lot during the pandemic because you know, every I had to teach them, do my work, and do my art, so it was all one in the same. So I was like, you guys can help me today. <laughs> so my kids would ask me to tell them stories at bedtime. They still ask me to tell them stories at bedtime. And I would start to tell a story. They're like, tell me a story from when you were eight years old. And I was like, I don't know anything. I could. I don't have no idea. And then I think of this one moment, this one story, and then it's kind of like spans this whole year of being eight years old or whatever age they've asked me to tell. 
And then um, it really like challenged me to think of more stories from being a child and I, it was very difficult, but my kids would like, you know, ask questions and bring it about and like, sometimes I would make it up a little bit, they could tell that I was making it up, but, um, <laughs> but then I was like, that's okay, it's like my memory and I can kind of do whatever I want with it. <laughs> I like the idea of them feeling connected to me from me telling a story of um, when I was their age.